What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. Hope all your holidays were wonderful. Um, now, I don't do New Year's resolutions. I just let go to things that don't matter and I try to focus on the things that do matter. But if you do have a New Year's resolution, hopefully you're off to a good start and you're sticking to it. I just figured right now, it's the start of the year, start of 2019. It'd be a great time to show you guys my uh, 2019 backpacking gear loadout. All right, guys, there it is. That is my complete backpacking gear loadout for 2019. So, all right, let's take a closer look at all this stuff. All right, guys, so here's all my gear. Let's take a little bit closer look at what's actually inside my pack. First thing I want to talk to you guys about is the pack itself. I did make a change in my pack this year. This particular pack is the Superior Wilderness Frameless 35, and I absolutely love this thing. Going frameless was maybe the best thing I've ever done in backpacking. Love it. So, this pack was a big change for me this year, and I was able to really dial my gear into a 35 liter pack, and I can actually fit all my winter gear inside of this pack with no problem, and it's super comfortable. So again, guys, the Superior Wilderness 35 frameless pack, and it does have the padded hip belt with the pockets, just because I, uh, I really like the hip belts. I utilize those for like food and stuff like that. And then it does have the mesh pocket on the uh, shoulder strap. I like to put either like my phone or maybe the GoPro or something like that inside of there. So that is my pack. The next thing up is my Black Diamond Puffy Jacket. This is the Black Diamond Ascent. You guys have seen me talk about this thing in a lot of different videos. And I really love this jacket. This isn't a down jacket. This is a synthetic. But I like that. It's just a couple ounces heavier than my down jacket. But this, I don't have to worry about it getting wet. I don't have to baby it. And it's also got this, uh, this like stretch, stretchy type of material on the side. So I can actually wear this jacket when it's cooler and with the stretching material on the side and it goes down to sleeves too, I don't overheat in this jacket. So this is one of my favorite pieces of gear, has been for years. I love this thing. It's going to continue coming with me on a lot of different trips. So this is uh, pretty much my go-to jacket all the time. The next jacket is this one. This is the uh, Columnia Omni Heat rain jacket. And this is not a lightweight rain jacket at all, but this thing is like bomb proof. <laughs> I've been through some torrential downpours in this thing. I've never had a problem with uh, getting wet. And it, it's also, it, it's thick, tough material, so I don't have to worry about it tearing or anything like that. Now I use this jacket as a wind barrier when it's kind of cold and when it's really, really cold, like down in the freezings, I'll... I'll layer this on top of my puffy jacket. So this jacket is, uh, again, one of my favorite pieces of gear as well. It was my first uh, rain jacket I bought when I got into backpacking, and I'm still using it because I really like it. Okay, so next up, let's talk about the top quilt. This is the Hammy Gear Burrow 30, and that was also a piece of gear I added last year. And I, so far, I really like that top quilt. It's been super warm. I've taken it down into the low 30s several times, and I've had absolutely no problem with it. So the Hammond Gear um, Burrow 30, definitely uh, a great investment. And it, this, this is also the Econ version, guys. So it's made out of slightly heavier material, but that stuff is also slightly more durable. So I don't know. I really like that. And it also only weighs 18 ounces, so it's it's pretty lightweight. Awesome top quilt. Next, let's talk about my shoes. So I'm still rocking the uh, Adidas Turex XR2s. These things are awesome. They've been with me now for about three years. They're kind of starting to get a little bit wore out, but I think when they do get wore out, I'm just going to switch them out for the exact same pair because I've had great luck with them. They're really light, they got good traction. And uh, I don't know, like I said, I've just had good luck with them, I like them. I did uh, switch out the insoles. I used a Superfeet Black insoles in these. 
Those work really well for me. Next, let's talk about my, uh, let's just talk about this bag here. So in this bag here, um, I use this bag for my water filter in my bags. And my water filter is the Sawyer Squeeze. And I don't, I don't know, I've had great luck with the Sawyer Squeeze. That's been my go-to for uh, quite a while now. I was using the Sawyer Mini. I did not like the Sawyer Mini, so I switched to the Squeeze. Way better water flow. But basically, that's what I keep inside of this bag is my water filter and my bladders, all that kind of good stuff. So next, let's talk about, uh, let's go into my sleep system. Not really doing this in any type of order here, but got the Dream Hammock Darien. It's made out of the 1.6. Yep, I like to hang in the trees. I love my dream hammock and uh, I don't ever see myself switching from anything else other than the dream hammock. Now I do use a bivy when I bike pack, but as far as backpacking, it's always going to be the dream hammock. I just sleep really, really well in the dream hammock. I'm super comfortable and like all you guys know, when you're out on the trail, you have a long day. One of the most important things is getting a good night's sleep and I sleep best in the hammock. And then I don't use a pad or I don't use a under quilt in my hammock. I always use a pad just in case I have to go to the ground. I find the pad more versatile. Um, I use the Thermarest X Therm and sometimes it's a little bit of an overkill because this thing is like super warm. It's like you're laying on top of a heater. But again, this pad had super good luck with it. I slept in my hammock, like I said, down into the low teens with this pad and I've always stayed warm. So I'm gonna continue using a pad in my hammock. Next is my tarp. This is the UGQ Wide Body 11. It's not the lightest tarp in the world, but I've had this tarp for about three years and I really, really like this tarp. I got it in the hammock gear mesh sleeve and then I use the uh, loop aliens as my tie outs with the uh, Dutch, um, I, Dutch tarp worms is what they're car, called, is what I use uh, for, for my suspension and tie outs on this tarp. But again, I, I've had great luck with this UGQ tarp. I think they're a great value, and uh, I, I would probably buy another one if, this, if something ever happens to this one. So that is my tarp. Next, we got my, uh, I kind of use a pod system inside of my pack. So I use this one, this is a 12 liter bag from Superior Wilderness. They call this the lunchbox. And this one, I like to put all of my spare clothes and my jacket in, my down jacket. That's what I uh, put inside of this. Actually, not a down jacket. My, my synthetic puffy jacket is what I put inside of this. Like I said, it's 12 liters. It's pretty light. It's, uh, I think it's like three ounces. And that's what I put inside this one. And in the bottom one, I use the Z-Pax dry bag. This is the rectangular bottom um, dry bag. And I put my entire sleep system will fit inside of this dry bag. So that's my hammock, my pad, my uh, pillow, and my top quilt will all fit inside of this Z-Pax dry bag. So that goes on the bottom. And then usually this one goes on top of that. And then what I do is I use this one, and again, this is also the Superior Wilderness um, food bag, and this one is a six liter. This one is made out of Dyneema, super light. I don't even know how much it weighs, but it, maybe an ounce. It's very, very light. And I use this one for all of my food. And typically in this six liter bag, for me, I go no cook, so I can fit roughly a week's worth of food in here in a six liter bag pretty easily. But I like using that system. It creates a nice uh, pod system with the uh, z pack dry bag on bottom and then the larger lunch bag in the middle and my food on the top. So I have three bags total inside of my pack and I can just pull everything out. Everything's easily accessible and it, it's not real messy in there. Just uh, makes, it, makes it a little bit easier, more organized. So when you are out on the trail and I think it speeds things up a little bit as well. So that is how I, uh, use that system. And the pillow I was talking about 
I use the X pillow. Been using this thing for a while. It's just a blow up pillow. I like it. it. It works fine for me in the hammock. Now on the ground, I found that this pillow doesn't work all that great. So I, I typically will use this and I'll stack some clothes up and lay my head on that. But in the hammock, this thing is perfectly fine. Yeah, and that is the X pillow. And then as far as uh, other bags, this is my Diddy bag. I just put my tents or uh, my tent stakes, my um, fire starter, stuff like that, lighter, um, that kind of stuff all goes in this bag here. And this is the Z, um, Z Packs zip pouch. Not sure which one it is, but as you can see, it's not a very big one. That's what I use for my Diddy bag. And then as far as uh, um, this here, this is my toiletry bag. I just use a Ziploc bag and I keep it in the front pocket of my uh, bag so it's easy, easily accessible. And again, just, you know, your toilet paper, wet wipes, hand sanitizer. Got the, uh, the poop trowel, famous Tim Watts in there. <laughs> um, we got the, the deuce, I think it's the deuce too. It's the original deuce, I think that's what it is. But that's my toiletry bag. And then this is my uh, toothbrush. And again, I just use a Ziploc bag. Now I use a kid toothbrush instead of like an ultralight tooth, toothbrush from z Packs or you know, whatever. I don't cut a toothbrush down. I just use a child toothbrush and it works just fine. And then my ground sheet, I just use a compactor bag. I cut it open, works fine. Um, usually I get quite a bit of use out of it. If it rips, I just throw it away and uh, exchange it out for a different compactor bag. It's also super light, so that's also a nice thing. My spoon is this MSR uh, foldable plastic spoon. I love this thing. Like I said, I go no cook, so I don't bring a pot, but I do bring a spoon because I like to eat like tuna and oatmeal, all that kind of stuff. I guess this is actually technically a spork, but whatever. This is what I use, MSR, foldable. And then my power pack is that I'm still using the Foos Power. This is the 10,000. And this is usually good for me for a, a week trip almost. I can typically charge my phone on this about four, to, four full times. So typically like the weekend trips, this is just fine. Now a lot of the bigger trips when we go out west and we're out there for like a full week, I'll bring this and maybe like a smaller one as well. But this is my main power pack. Like I said, it's the Foos Power 10,000 MHA or whatever that is. For my water bottles, still rocking the um, one liter smart water bottles. I like these. I did switch these out and put the uh, different tips on them. Kind of serve a dual purpose. You can you can drink from them and you can also back flush your filter if need be with these these uh, different tips so that's uh, that's what I use for my water and I, I never bring more than two liters of water to start start a hike that's plenty for me um, I just filter frequently throughout the day when I come across water is how I do that sit pad I'm using the Dutch sit pad love this thing Super light, it fits in my pack. I like to fold it up in my frameless pack and I'll actually fold it like that, slide it down inside of my pack and use that as kind of like a little bit of pad on my back in the uh, frameless pack. This thing is great. Like I said, you can sit on it, keeps the butt dry. It, it is reasonably comfortable for how small it is. And then I will also put this in the foot box of my uh, top quilt in my hammock. if my feet kind of get cold and it does a good job of keeping uh, keeping the feet warm inside of the top quilt. And then let's see here, I got my pack towel. I don't even know what brand this is. I bought it at Walmart. It's just a micro fleece towel. This thing comes in handy all the time. I use it to wipe myself down throughout the day, kind of stay somewhat clean on the trail. I use it to wipe down my gear, all that kind of stuff. Pack towel, I highly recommend it if you don't use one. Okay, so let's see here. I got, this is something I started bringing 
this year, and this is mainly because of uh, when we went bike packing, I got ate alive by mosquitoes and I got chiggers and it was terrible. So uh, I added this into uh, my arsenal of stuff I bring. This is Picardin lotion and this is gonna come with me every time from now on out. Then my headlamp using the Petzl Tika, Tika, I don't know how you say it, but it's the rechargeable one. It, it's it's pretty bright. I don't know how bright it is. I don't know what the lumens are on it, but works just fine for me. I think it's like 300 lumens or something like that. But awesome headlamp. It's lightweight, and I like the fact that I can recharge it um, with my with my pack that I already bring. So that's my headlamp. Then my clothes. Still rocking the same clothes I've been rocking for the last three years, basically. This is an Abercrombie & Fitch uh, athletic shirt. It's vented in the back, so it's really breathable. It is UV protected, and it's lightweight, so I don't, I don't overheat in this. And I typically like to hike in a single layer unless I have to put jackets or something on. So this is the only shirt that I wear. And then my pants are still the same pants. These are the Outback Rider style pants. They're a knockoff of the Zion stretch pants. I like these because they're stretchy. They fit kind of tight, but they're, they're somewhat stretchy, so they're, they're very easy to hike in. They're somewhat water resistant and uh, wind resistant as well. So nice pair of pants. Got these at Dom's. They're like 20 bucks. Great buy. My base layer, this is what I sleep in. I just sleep in the real tree, um, insulated, long johns, and the, these ones are actually uh, not really even insulated. If it gets really, really cold, I got um, Under Armour 3.0 that I'll wear, but 95% of the time, this is what I, what I sleep in, and I just rely on my top quilt to keep me warm. Same with the top. This is a Russell branded insulated long sleeve shirt. Again, bought this at Walmart. Goodbye. This stuff isn't as good as like your Under Armour stuff, but if you're just sleeping in it, it works just fine. So that's my base layer that I sleep in. So guys, that's my uh, complete backpacking loadout for 2019. Now let's take a look at how everything fits inside of my pack. And the first thing that's gonna go into my pack is my sleep system. So what I do is I use this Z-Packs bag, top quilt goes in first. I just shove it on down in there. So once I get this all shoved down in there, I just shove that in there like so. I take my sleep pad that also goes in here, the hammock. Like so, I just jam everything down in there. The pillow also goes in there, just throw that on top. I close it up, get the air out. Roll it down. Then this goes in my pack first. So, I just take this and I put it down on the inside of my pack where it's at the very bottom. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. This isn't the most ideal way to do it, but hopefully you can see it in the video. So I just shove that down in there, compress all the air out of it, and that sits down at the bottom. And then next, I used a 12 liter lunchbox bag from Superior Wilderness. And again, all my clothes kind of go down in this, and I just put, put them in there. Like so, and I'll also take my puffy jacket and I put that down in there. Zip it up. As you can 
Epoxy. All that stuff fits in there perfect. This is a nice square bag. Fits inside of the bag perfect. And then I'll just take that and I just kind of shove it down in here. Like that again. I can press it down. Then what I do is I take my food. I did put some food in here just to show you guys. And I'll lay my food right on top. Again, it's a nice square bag. It's made to fit inside the pack perfectly. And then what I do is I take my Columbia rain jacket and I just stuff that in on top. So I just stuff it on down like that. Then I'll roll it up. Get all the air out. Close it. And then what I do is I utilize the uh, front pocket. So okay, so what I'll do is I utilize the uh, front pocket here. First I'll just shove my tarp. I just shove the tarp down inside. That goes down at the very bottom. I like to put that mesh pocket in front so when it's wet, it can just drip and it's not getting inside of the pack itself. Like I said, my water filter stuff, I'll shove that down in here as well. Just like that. The ground sheet, I shove that down inside. All this stuff just kind of gets shoved down inside of the front mesh pocket here. Just like that. Ditty bag. Shove that in there as well. Battery pack. As you guys can see, I'm not like super neat and tidy. I just kind of shove things down in there. And then the Picardin. I shove that down in there as well. Like I said, usually I put this inside of the pack. I didn't put it in there. But normally that goes on the back side of my pack. So... That's that. And then this, my headlamp, goes in the side hip pocket, like so. And then a water bottle goes on each side. And that is how I stuff all that gear inside my frameless 35 backpack. So here's what it looks like on There you guys have it. 2019 backpacking gear loadout all inside the frameless 35 Superior Wilderness pack. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all you guys. Hopefully you guys like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.